floss tube. Hello, hello. I am Julie, Julie and Stitches 16, and this is Luna. Hi, Luna. Say hi. <laughs> my coworker. <laughs> I film from my office slash craft room. It's a shared space, and this is her hangout this time of day. So here we are. If you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you and welcome. Um, today is a little off the cuff. I decided if I was going to do this in the next few weeks, um, I better just do it. So I did jot down a few notes but and organize a few things, but it's just going to kind of be what it is, which is, I think, what I always say. But... There's, it's, there's fun in that, right? Um, here I am. Julian Stitches 16, also on Instagram. Come find me, be my friend. I love to hear and see all of your wonderful crafting. I love to interact with all of you. So thank you again for being here. Um, I know that I've been a little remiss sometimes, Luna, <laughs> in, um, explaining like acronyms that we use in the crafting world so I'm gonna try to get better at that there's always room for improvement right okay um what I'm wearing I have new glasses I got my eyes checked and it was time to bump up that prescription of course um as comes with the joys of aging um so I got a fun color what I'm wearing else is um, I actually found this at a thrift store and with all that is happening in the world right now and all of the heavy hearts, including my own, it was perfect. Use your voice. Use your voice. Sometimes we feel helpless and think there is nothing we can do, especially when there are tragic events happening halfway around the world. Um, we can talk about it we can call our elected officials and tell them how we are feeling. Ceasefire. Gun control. Queer rights. We can say it. Just use your voice. Just use your voice. And we'll talk more as we go through some projects because self-care for me is craftivism. Um, and I have a few things. Okay, what else has been happening? I joined the EGA, the Embroiderers Guild of America. Uh, my closest local chapter is in Madison, Wisconsin, which is about a little over an hour away for me. Um, there is another chapter I found in La Crosse, which would be about the same distance. So I might check them out. I'm going to feel out the Madison Guild chapter first and see how it goes. They send you this lovely packet of information and a bag and it's fun. I have not been able to go to a meeting yet. Uh, they meet at odd times, like Thursday nights and Friday mornings. So Thursday nights will probably work best for me. And they do do, you can join virtually. You can, you don't have to take the drive down there, especially now that we are approaching winter in Wisconsin. I am not a winter driver, so I will probably try to join the next one virtually and see how that goes. I'm excited. Um, I went to a Packer game with my mom last weekend, just me and my mom. It is nice to make memories with your parents, especially as my kids get older and I get older and I realize that... <clears throat> I'm always the one taking pictures and not the one in them. Not the one in, not in them. <clears throat> Words are hard today. Um, thoughts are hard today. Um, we, yeah. <clears throat> she was able to get tickets. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is the season. Um, in a suite, in a suite. So we were living the high life at the Packer game and we went <clears throat> and um, they lost to the Vikings which is always also tragic <laughs> it's another tragedy um, 
but it was a it was a wonderful time spending a day with my mom. Um, Lambo Field is my happy place. Some people go to Disneyland or Disney World. I go to Lambo Field, and I just my hair stands on end every single time. We're huge, huge Packer fans in my family, in exception of my son and my husband who are Steelers fans, which is not that's not all a bad thing, but. Darn those Vikings, you Minnesota friends. <laughs> but I'm happy for you because they seem to have their crap together this year. And we are young and we are building and I will be patient. I lived through the 80s. It will be fine. It'll come around. Um, favorite thing. Favorite stitchy thing this week to show you. I can't live without them. I use them every time I stitch. I... And sometimes when I'm knitting or crocheting, depending on what project I am working on, are Magna Clips. New glasses. I have progressive lenses, bifocals, but I still need some help. I am pretty much consistently nowadays a 40 to 46 count stitcher and sometimes teeny tiny stitching, 28 count over one and or 56 count, sometimes 56 count over one. Um, so these wonderful invention contraption clip on your glasses, provide you with some magnification. I get like the plus two or plus 1.75 and they just give me enough extra magnification so that I can see those teeny tiny holes when I stitch and I stitch in hand. Um, I am the only thing that I stitch in a hoop is the teeny tiny stitching I have discovered is much easier in a hoop. Um, the 56 count over one, what have you. Um, so Magna Clips, Amazon. Thank you to the country sampler who suggested those to me in my once a year visit to their store in or around my birthday. <laughs> I limit my visits to the country sampler I don't have to tell you guys why. It's dangerous. It is a, I black out, I come out, I get home, I don't even know what happened <laughs> to myself or my checkbook. <laughs> oh, the, same, the, the models on the walls, the models, the, oh goodness gracious. Anyways, okay, new friends. Cat Whittier Stitches. Go check her out. Um, delightful. A uh, variety of projects. Uh, good human. Um, fun to watch. Uh, the next one is Uplift Stitches. Melanie. And then in their second episode, her husband Michael. So Melanie and Michael, both stitchers. Um, so calming and comforting. And just a, kind of a joy to to watch and listen to and I, they both stitch different things so there's a variety of different stitching so something for everyone something for everyone uplift stitches and i will have everybody that i talk about linked below obviously okay full free for me full free for me today full free for me is a big one um emily c who if you watch Floss Tube, you've heard of Emily. Emily C. showed a band sampler that she had finished from Magic Quilt's blog. It's online. Um, as far as I can tell, they have not posted in quite some time. Not sure the backstory on that. But they had yearly band sampler sales that are still available for you to go and download. Now you don't have to wait month by month because I want to say they were like from 2017, 18, 19, 20. Um, so there are a few different ones to choose from. This one was probably the smallest <laughs> and it's birds. It's birds. 
Um, so of course I chose the birds. Um, there are there are two other though magnificent, beautiful pieces that were larger. Um, I chose being realistic with my 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 stitching time, <laughs> and I love birds. So um, there is another beautiful one though that has animals and birds. And so you know, next time you see me. <laughs> I might say, look at this one, and this is the one I'm starting, or I may have started the birds. But I love monochromatic pieces. I've been looking for another monochromatic pieces, so this fit the bill. So I will link that website down below. Again, Magical Quilts Blog. And it, there's a few different band samplers. I have another for free for, I have no, a couple more for free for me, but you will see those as we move along. And I got move the things I talk about out of the way because <laughs> I have such limited space and I'm sorry that you can see things but I rearranged my craft room yesterday and now I can't find stuff and I think I made it a little cramped I don't know it's a work in progress right and that's okay life is a work in progress so if it makes you feel good do it um Chris cross stitch oh well another friend not new I watched Chris previous he took a little hiatus he moved across the country so happy he's back Chris is one of those floss tubers where the notification comes up and it's kind of like if you're watching a, a, one of your favorite series on TV you make time right I'm way behind on floss tube but I make time for Chris such an exceptional uplifting, wonderful, good human. Oh, Chris, thank you. Thank you for being our neighbor. Thank you for being a part of our community and for bringing us joy. Anyways, he has come up, he has termed the co coined the term floss tube royal flush. And the meaning behind that is a royal flush is five cards and I am not a I'm not a card player per se in exception of cribbage <laughs> and the occasional euchre but <clears throat> royal flush meaning I gotta look at my notes if you have a fully finish <clears throat> a finish a whip which is a work in progress a new start and then the fifth card would be if you have there were several items that he listed go watch his last episode and you will see he he, he gives you a display board um a staff which is a start and a finish and I can't remember what else was included in there but I said when I was watching I'm like I will never have a floss tube with a royal flush I won't I won't I mean who are we kidding? I do. I do. What? Who am I? I have a, ro a, a floss tube royal flush. And it might be the only time. So please help me celebrate this occasion. And if I can find everything <clears throat> that I need to show you, because I had to rearrange, um, that would be great. Okay, so let's start with the first card in my Royal Flush, which is my Fully Finish, which was also a Saf and a For Free For Me. Trifecta. I have a Trifecta first card of my Royal Flush. All right. This was the Overlook Bookmark by the wonderful, amazing designer, Allie at Cozy Cabin Stitching. And she released this For Free For Me. Um, just in time for spooky season, and I have been saying that I need bookmarks, so perfect. And I love me some Stephen King, so an homage to The Shining. Here, my friends, is my Overlook bookmark. Fully finished. Fully finished. Oh, yes. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Yay, fully finished. I did this on a 
me dyed 18 count fabric and just pulled some flosses from stash which you're gonna see a lot because that's what I'm trying to do I am really um I have so much stuff like just use it quit buying things B5200 my favorite white DMC white all hollows eve or hollows eve sorry by color and co color and cotton so perfect stitchy spooky season stitching and valor red a color and cotton fully finish for free for me say trifecta bullseye jackpot bullseye jackpot um saf and finish for now another saf and a finish for now was my lights out for birds which i had just uh started stitching in my last last two episode um ancient sage designs shazita thank you thank you thank you um already if you've been here you know that i'm a bird lover if you haven't been here i'm a bird lover <laughs> She designed this pattern as an advocacy piece. So this is one of my craftivisms um, for migrating birds. Migrating birds are distracted in their flight patterns by, especially by the lights of the tall buildings in big cities. Many, 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 many perish unfortunately so if we could all use our voices and ask these uh the occupants of these large buildings and houses to turn off their lights at nighttime during peak migration periods we would save a lot of birds um, all of the migratory birds here in the wonderful state of Wisconsin have now left the building. They're out. Um, and I can't tell you that I didn't worry about them on their way south. I am planning to do an ornament finish. I have to go find me some uh, foam board. Oh, maybe today even I'm going to run to town and see if one of the dollar stores has we don't have much shopping in where I live so I'm hoping I, that was one of my plans for today was to maybe try to fully finish this I was crocheting some headbands which you'll see later <clears throat> and one of the yarn colors um a bulky weight kind of came unraveledy unraveled unraveledy it unraveledy um, so I thought that is going to make a good border around that with the colors that I chose. So we'll see how that comes together. Just the thought. I'm excited. <clears throat> finish. Another finish. Um, again, use your voice. My heart has been extremely, extremely, extremely heavy for the humans in Gaza uh, and the Palestinians in general along with all the um, all of the individuals in that region who they're not the government they're not the government um, their government's doing it but those that live there are not the government so my heart and my empathy is with them as well <coughs> To trees and tea on Instagram. Sorry, I do not have more written down about this, but I will link. <clears throat> go to them. Also, please go watch Nithya Daybreak Stitchery, who is exceptionally knowledgeable and very eloquently gives you a synopsis of... Um, this stitch for and other things that you can do for advocacy number one being use your voice call your officials ceasefire i mean if you just say one word ceasefire in gaza three words that that isn't that is action that is taking 
action. That is something you can do. This is Handala Flying. This is a piece that um, many of us have stitched to show our solidarity with the Palestinians in the Gaza region. Um, <clears throat> so I finished him on, it was just a blue piece of 40 count fabric I had in my stash. Um, just, I, I don't even know who it's by, to tell you the truth. Um, picked some flosses out of my stash, of course. Again, B5200. Cupid by Classic Colorwork. And then two Mosail Silk Pistachio. Yep. Get right. And charcoal. And I will probably also use these because there is a packet of patterns that you can get and download for free for me and for you um, to stitch, craftivism, stitch your advocacy for the Palestinians. And these are all Palestinian embroidery patterns. Um, there's Handala Flying. That is a from a cushion in the early 1990s that shows nostalgic motifs such as the Palestinian flag, historic Palestine, here. And then Watermelon, which um, it gives you a synopsis of how that came to be uh, a symbolism for Palestinians. So I will probably just keep those flosses out and stitch me up a Watermelon bookmark next from these patterns to show my advocacy and to rage stitch as I like to say for the injustice and the human tragedy that is unfolding in Gaza. Can we just all be good humans? Just be good humans. We are all related. We all came from the same amoeba that crawled out of the sea and evolved into Homo sapiens. Let's just all be good to each other. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So finish. My other finish was my seasons. They are changing. Don't forget to turn your clocks back tonight. Um. In fact, in Wisconsin, in the last three weeks, Mother Nature painted a beautiful landscape of color. And in within that same three weeks, all of that color fell to the ground. <laughs> and we even had a spark of summer in there and a little bit of spring and snow. and ah. So anyways, it's getting cold and I do not enjoy the cold. So the knitting and the crocheting come out more. So this is my Sararo hat that I knit. Yay! I knit this use it out of the pattern book that I got knitting for the national parks. 63 beanie patterns. 63! You think I'll get through them all? Probably not. And then here is my look for the winter living in Wisconsin. Hat hat. Anyways, wonderful book. Um, every national park is represented. Um, beautiful beanie patterns. If you are a knitter and enjoy a good hat. My next one I have bookmarked, of course. Because it also makes me feel warm to do the desert, the desert hats. <laughs> and dream of Arizona. Which I will be in Arizona in a month. In one month. Oh, that'll be a nice little break. Um will be the Joshua Tree. Of course. If you've been here, I you know that I love the desert. If you haven't, I love the desert. <laughs> I especially love Josh Joshua Trees. It was my grandpa's favorite. They're actually a succulent that grow into a tree, uh, tr uh, as large as a tree. There's one. Um, it was my grandpa's favorite plant, my dad's, and now mine as well. Um, every time I'm in Arizona, I go out Nash, Joshua Tree National Highway north of Wickenburg, which actually 
there exists more Joshua trees there than in Joshua Tree National Park. So I feel like I've been there, but I this is on my bucket list. Definitely on my bucket list. Um, and then my new start, well, one of my new starts, one of my new starts is, so this completes my Royal Flush. Celebrate good times, come on. First, Halloween Quaker by Lila's Studio. That darn Laura, Lala D. Stitches, you know I love you. She posted that she started this. I think many of us have starditis. Uh, again, I was watching Nithia this morning and I think like I put my heavy heart um, and racing thoughts into crafting because uh, it gives me a place to put my energy. It's very calming for me. Um, even taking a 10 minute break during the day and putting a few stitches in or knitting a row or crocheting a headband, whatever it is, helps to ease my overwhelming anxiety. I have an anxiety disorder. I have seasonal affective disorder. Take your vitamin D. Nurse Julie says, take your vitamin D. Sorry for this tangent, but otherwise I'll forget. Especially if you live in the northern half of our country where there are going to be many, many cloudy days, we cannot get outside to absorb the sunshine into our skin to produce vitamin D. Please take it. Please, please. Okay. Seasonal affective disorder is real. And for those of us that deal with it, it's not fun. It's demons in your mind. And, and for me, in my, it sits in my chest. So this calm. Anyway, starting most is also a calming for me. It just gives me a place to put my energy and my thoughts. Anyways, Halloween Quaker, Laura, Lala D. Stitches. Started this, posted it. I said, Geez. well, I've had that kitted for like two years and it is October. So why not? So I did. Okay. You have seen the pattern long enough. <laughs> get on with it, Julie. Get on with it. Here is my start on Halloween Quaker. I have the witch and part of the moon. Well, I don't even have the whole witch. I have a headless witch and a sliver of the moon. Waxing. It's waxing. It's waxing. Um, I am doing this on a 40 count um, barefoot needle arts pebble beach. Uh, this was a fabric that I got in her quarterly club in their quarterly club. I forgot that I had signed up. <laughs> I got the invoice. I'm like, oh my gosh, I signed up for that. It is so good, you guys. This is like the dust, a dusky, dark purple modeling. And I have bought fabric and thought through fabric choice for this pattern for two years. When I got this in the mail and opened it, I'm like, Halloween Quaker, check. Finally, I have my fabric. I am using some of the called for flosses and many choose your own adventure. In fact, this is my current floss drop. And for those of you that have done this pattern or know this pattern, this is way more flosses <laughs> than are called for because I have been picking flosses out of my stash and I as I go I will decide what to use. Some of these might even change. DMC, V Stitch Me Silks, Night Stalker Calling. I am sure I have a cottage garden thread in here because why wouldn't I? Mose sales, M and M, um, almond M and M silk, uh, classic color works, you name it. I got it. I got it in the floss monster. But I love, look at all these colors together. Look at, I mean, if that is not screaming Halloween, I do not know what would. So, new start in October sometime. These are in no order, literally zero order. 
This one, though, I do know when we started. No, I don't. Maybe I wrote it down. Well, there's two. <laughs> there's two. On October 7th, Nithya Daybreaks to Tree, Miriam Marumi Designs, Marumi Crafts, and Sarah from Mod Cross and I did a Zoom stitchy session, which filled my cup and brought me so much joy. And we're meeting again tomorrow, and I can't wait. Um, love, love them. Love them all. Um, we decided to start a sale for the Artsy Housewife. Um, call, and we called it, Nithia coined it, um, the Artsy Fartsy Sale. So please, if you are doing a artsy housewife pattern, um, use that hashtag. I know I've heard all the scuttle about Instagram making it super hard for people to find and not showing hashtags. And that sucks. So, oh, sorry about that. It's my husband coming in the door and they act like they don't know him, but they do. So the first pattern I started Yes, I started to. Was frolicsome and mirthful because I love uncommonly used words. And those are fun words. Frolicsome and mirthful. I am doing frolicsome and mirthful on a mystic fabric called Illusion. And in this wonderful, beautiful uh, Live and Die LA in the colorway Regal. I need a whiteboard, you guys. That's what, I'll find a piece of foam board and also make a whiteboard. And then I am going to do the words, I think. Let me get through the border. In a toile. In this purple, sparkly a toile. Ugh. So pretty. So pretty. I'm going to try to put everything away as after I show you um, so I don't lose things. Because I already pulled this out. and Oh, yeah, that's because it's for the next one. Okay, next one I started the very next day because I was debating to start Frolics of a Mirthful or this one. And I'm like, I'll just start them both. Una Owl. Isn't, isn't it cute? Look at it. Una is being done on a piece of 46 count. I'll just use Una. Cold Foam by Be Stitch Me. That is as far as I have gotten. Um, when we're meeting tomorrow, I think I'm going to pull, pull him out again. Him or her. Um, and I am doing Choose Your Own Adventure. I pull... I, most of my projects, I just, I pull, but lots, lots of cottage garden threads. Oh, I just love them. Um, there might be one called for in here. Yeah, Old Purple Paint is called for, Gentle Art. <laughs> um, the Stitch Me Silk, some Mose Sails. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I love the, I love these colors. Love those colors together. So that was also a new start. So, Royal Flush Complete. Probably the only time that I will ever win in floss tube gambling. <laughs> only Royal Flush I'll ever get. Oh, that is a really fat Junko. The, the dark eyed Junkos are all back. Some of them are rather large. I feed them well. Okay, what is next? Whips. 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 No order. I... No order. I'll just make sure I get through them all. <coughs> um, whip go for November uh, was a peacock, a unicorn, and a badger, which I started for back to, the back to school sal that was started by... Uh, Lauren, the New Hampshire stitcher, and a project that I haven't worked on, I don't think all year, which is Peaceful Kingdom by Little Robin Designs. 
when they're when the queen is happy, there is peace in the kingdom. I couldn't even not stitch this. I have plans for this. It will either hang in my husband's closet where he goes every day to pull out his clothes or above our coffee maker because he always gets coffee. <laughs> Sometimes you got to remind him. When the queen's happy, there's peace in the kingdom. I am doing this on a Mystic Fabrics again in the colorway Silver Mist. Uh, 40 count. And my flosses so far as I have decided. And this could change too. But definitely for the border so far. Is Aubergine by Color and Cotton. And this was in a box that I got in a box. A, a box and I can't remember what and yeah but I love it it is just the prettiest variegated purple floss I have this cry neck in the bag and my thought was for the crown I would mix that with the floss and then possibly also for the letters but now that I have that etoile that purple sparkly a twall, that might be the letters. To be seen. To be seen. This should really be a finish. Oh, I never had mentioned most of my bags. Uh, Yellowstone Forbidden Fiber Co. kit that I got. Uh... I can't remember when. That's what I was going to say about that. <laughs> ah, there was a day, I think the day, October 1st. I can't remember what day. It was Witchy Stitcher Day, and we all stitched, uh, we all took out our Witchy Stitcher patterns, or bought her patterns, or started her patterns. Um... Megan, she is battling a rare form of blood cancer. She has talked about it on the social media. So I had started um, Have the Lamb Stop Screaming a few months ago. So I pulled that out and worked on it just a little bit. I am doing this on 40 Count Murky. And I believe that I got some more of the border. Oh, so sorry, you guys. Some more of the border <laughs> and part of the moth done on that, that day that I pulled it out. Um, I would like to have these done before next spooky season because I really do enjoy the Silence of the Lambs. And I also have, I bought It Rubs the Lotion. So I will be finishing that hopefully as well on the bottom half of that murky. I think I talked about that last time. And then I also got uh, I See You Shiva with Anticipation. Love the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Watched it millions of times. Well, not millions. That is a hyperbole. Watched it a lot. I have seen that. I have seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show a lot. Okay. <clears throat> I pulled out my work basket pattern for work, work basket stash sale, the work basket stash sale that Miriam from Marumi Crafts and I started um, when we started finding all of the out of print work basket patterns, which I now have way too many of. Probably will never get to stitch them all, but they are just so pretty and quirky. <clears throat> and I love them. Um, Miriam is uh, just started a stitch in time, and I cannot wait to see that come together. Super rare, very hard to find. Very, 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 very um, generous, nice. Um, Michelle from Bendy Stitchy lent her the pattern to stitch, and I can't wait to see it come together because Miriam always puts such a wonderful spin on her patterns. Um... So I pulled this out for a few days, and this is where I'm at. So I think I put another 
couple oh there goes my needle oh because it's got a thread on it I should really iron I should iron you guys but then I would never do these um another couple birds and some more of the trellis on this so really I need I would also like to finish this maybe even before the end of the year would be nice um because I have another work basket pattern several other ones that I want to start. You can't finish what you don't start. So that was a Be Stitch Me in the colorway Ledger 46 count. Oh, I love Ledger. Like, I could use Ledger for so many different things. Um, and I am using my own conversion. Again, lots of cottage garden threads in here. There is a thread from uh, XU Design, some Gentle Arts, some Leo and Roxy's, some Night Stalker Calling, <clears throat> you name it. Livened it up a little. Livened it up a little. <coughs> Humidity is down and viruses are in here. Next, whip, whip good. They're back. They're back. I think the leaves fell and the bugs went away and now they have to come eat from my feeders and of course I keep them well fed. So they're back. In fact, one day last week I had three of them in the yard. The woodpecker. So my rule is if I see them sap and eat, I pull this pattern out and put a thread or two in. It gets me progress. It gets me progress. So here is the woodpecker. Filled in more of the body. It came down with some of the black outline. Um, I worked on him. I think I've seen him three times since I last talked to you. So I have worked on him three times. Not bad. My hair is just is what it is today is what it is i am choosing my own adventure again with the flosses that's a 40 count fortnite no not fortnite fabric um words there they went forbidden fiber co forbidden fiber company fabric in the colorway granite which is one of my their of their fabrics that's one of my favorites again um some of the called for some choose your own adventure cottage garden. There's DMC in here. There's one week. So I had it in my stash. I do not buy their um, flosses anymore. And oh, there's two. And then the other ones I converted. I picked similar to the pattern. I do have all of the animals from that series, and I do plan to hopefully stitch them all at some point in this lifetime. Next, I, I need to print out a picture of this. This is Enchanted Forest by Owl Forest Embroidery. I bought the kit. That's why I'm showing you the box because it has the picture on it. Um, there is a hashtag, Allie Z is Crafty, um, stitches. She does Owl Forest Fridays. So I have tried to remember. Usually Friday comes and goes and I'm like, poop. I didn't pull it out. <laughs> oh, pattern back and bag. Um, so I have remembered a few times, Allie. Just a few times. Um, so this is, but I did change the fabric. I did not stitch it on the fabric um, that they sent because I wanted to do it on a higher count. So I picked a 40 count fabric. I am so sorry, you guys. Let me get my hair back. How about I just do this? Welcome to Wisconsin. Okay, uh, Be Stitch Me Hot Cocoa, 40 count. And I have put in a few more motifs. So there was one Friday a couple weeks ago that I worked on, on this. 
and I am using the Owl Forest Fred, Freds. I'm using the Owl Forest Freds that they sent with the kit. <laughs> Threads, flosses, Freds. Threads plus flosses equals Freds. Welcome to my world. And they are gorgeous. If you have not done an Owl Forest pattern or used their threads, they are wonderful to work with. They are beautiful. They are, the variegation is awesome. I kitted these up on Adam Hart Thread Drops, um, which I adore. And my little floss bling here is art by my wonderful friend Nithya, who um, gifted us these at a retreat at our retreat that we went to in August in the Quad Cities, our Needle Minders retreat. I'm so excited to see you guys tomorrow. Okay, I'm not putting that in the bag. Next, Whipco calls for October were B from the BB by the MFE. Birds from Bernhard's Books by Modern Folk Embroidery. I have to say that slow or it will never come out. This gorgeous pattern by Jacob. Oh, let's talk about Jacob. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. As hard as I tried to look away, she couldn't look away. Did she look away? She did not look away. The 2024 sale. Oh, you guys, we'll get to that. I can't even. Um, I can't even. Anyways, Birds from Bernhard Books. I was trying to go for a pa another page finish. I got one page done last time it came up and probably a half a page this time. Progress. Progress is progress, no matter how small. <clears throat> this is being done on a 40 count. I don't know. <laughs> question mark, question mark. I believe it's a Nicholas Flamel fabric. Um, I believe. And then my dye, my dyes, my floss, my Fred is Live and Die LA. In the colorway nebula, which is this gorgeous, dark, dusty purples and maroons. And I cannot love anymore how it is working up in this pattern. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and perfect. And if you can't tell, I enjoy the color purple. I enjoy all colors, but I really enjoy the color purple. <coughs> So I kind of keep him out on my, by my stitchy spot in the living room and because it's monochromatic and it's easy and its anniversary was August. So I'm hoping by next August to have it done. <laughs> Small goals. My next whip coat call was And a Forest Grew. And this will be a good sedway. Sedwe segue into what I'm feeling about what go for next year. Um, this is, of course, Rosewood Manor and a forest grew. Oh, where did I put that? Shoot, shoot, shoot. My apologies. Um, <clears throat> I am going to rechart the verse in the center um, to be not religious. Um, and Forbidden Fiber Co. I was unkidding like a, a, a nature box that I, great outdoors, great outdoors box. Um, and just putting things away because I knew I was never going to get around to probably stitching that pattern and I could use the flosses in the bag for something else. Anyways, in that box they had um their little you know synopsis of what you get and then on the front they had a uh, quote from a poem by john muir or a quote from john muir that said 
that says keep close to nature's heart and break clear away once in a while and climb a mountain or spend a week in the woods. Wash your spirit clean. I believe. And I kept it aside so I could put it in this bag as I was doing this. And now um, all of the world is right and coming together for Anne DeForest Grew. So I will have to use the lettering and reach heart this into this pattern. Of course, <clears throat> I got plenty of time because here it is. If you are new here, <laughs> I have now restarted this pattern. Not once, not twice, but three times. Third time was a charm. Um... This is, I'm, I'm happy. I'm finally happy. This is a 46 count. Shoot, I can't find the card. Uh, 46 count. I think it's just antique white. Uh, Swigart. And I think every, the, I like the coverage. I like, um, how the colors are showing up. Little bit muted here today, but, um. I am enjoying this. Okay, so <clears throat> that is it for whips. So good segue into whip go for next year. <clears throat> I was contemplating doing a hashtag for us all um, called, I mean, there's been thread a day, two threads a day. I was going to do motif a week. So if you have projects that are full of motifs like Enchanted Forest or And a Forest Grew or many, and really you could break a lot of different patterns into motifs, um, Quaker patterns, um, etc. A motif a week. Just pick a project, one a month, two a month one for the whole year and put one motif a week in on that pattern to help you feel like you're getting progress. So hashtag motif a week. Um, and then I started really churning the butter in my brain. I said, why don't I, because I was a slight failure at Whipco, I changed my board a lot. I changed it every time something, <laughs> every time Jesse drew numbers, I think I changed something on my board or I changed my goal on my board. Like it went from eight days in the month to just touch it. That's where we are in, October, in November. Just touch the project and you've met your goal. Um, so I thought I would gather up all my whips that have motifs and plop those on my whip go board and then for that month that the two that are called, I will put a motif a week. And then I may have another project that I take out that is just the year long motif a week, like maybe in a forest grew because there are far more than 52 motifs. And I would get, if I could get 52 motifs done on this next year, happy camper, happy camper would I be. So motif a week, watch for that in the new year investments. I need just a few. Uh, I am cutting way back on anything. I'm, in fact, as I was going through this room yesterday, as I was reorganizing, I said, I'm ready to part with some stuff. So um, I will be destashing some stuff, some yarn, probably some patterns, some fabrics, etc. Um, but in the meantime, I'm probably never going to stop buying a few things. Um, save that for plans. Okay, let's just go through the back. Sorry, I'm going to be turning and stretching. Um, <clears throat> almond M&M's, Ymir. If you have not, Ymir has a floss tube. Ymir is on Instagram. Ymir dyes gorgeous, beautiful amazing silks. Right now, the all that she has out on her website are six strand, but she also does 12 strand for tiny stitching. 
and I'm waiting patiently. I messaged her and said, when will you have 12 strand again? Because tiny stitching is calling to my heart. Um, but I got her how October spooky advent box. I can't remember what you called it, Ymir. But anyways, these are the colors. There was one a day. She had them all packaged up so cute in tiny little packages. Um, and look at these gorgeous variegated silks. I don't like to pick favorites. I don't have favorite kids, dogs, animals, etc. But look at, what was this called? Puya. P-U-Y-A. Look at that teal. Oh! Coming soon to some projects near you or near me for you to see because these are just amazing and outstanding. Look at this. Troll. Look at the gold and purple, which I think pairs nicely with, where was it? Oh, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. With this green and purple. Or even with Puya. I am a I'm a purple and this is ironic. I am a purple and green combo girl. <clears throat> or purple and gold. Purple and gold being the colors of one of my least favorite football teams, the Minnesota Vikings. I don't know. So on the last day, on October 31st, our package was an entire hank. An entire hank. Like, I don't, how many yards is this? I don't even know. Probably from yarn, this would be a hundred gram, 50, probably 50 grams. So probably 200 yards. I don't know, Ymir, if I'm lying, sorry. Uh, this is the colorway Enid. Seriously. A dark, a dark colored fabric monochrome stitch. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, so good. So that was fun. And I was good. I opened one per day. Or I waited a couple days and then opened several because then I felt like I was getting more. You know, we do whatever we need to do to bring our hearts joy. Okay. Um, some fabrics. I got my... I did the XG Design Fabric of the Month for the year. You paid for it for the whole year. So I get 46 count. Uh, October was... Halloween basket and it's this awesome that's getting blown out a little bit it's this awesome mottled orangey brown very pretty she always sends she just sends a flower this year is a flower of the year so you get a pattern for the flower of the year this year is, this was vintage vintage tulip and then she also sends you a little gift thread very pretty. Very pretty. I won't even do the bag because I'll put that, I'm going to put stuff away. Uh, be stitch me for mm, September, right? Was Boneyard. Oh, you guys. I, I mean, all of the nature patterns that I like to stitch. The greens in here gorgeous. And then this month was Nightshade. Also oh, gorgeous. So good, Brandy. So very good. So very, very good. Um, I think I'm forgetting. Hold, please. Oh yeah, I was going to show you my woodpecker. There, he lives on our front tree. <laughs> Can't go back. Gotta go forward to go back. Better press on. So I'm going back to show you a picture of the woodpecker from my whips. <laughs> but look at, aren't they pretty? Oh, they're just so 
big and their flight is like I can't believe how silent sometimes um oh yeah we'll get back to Jacob okay I won I won I won the royal flush today and then a few weeks ago or a month ago now probably I won the giveaway from Kaylee Tentstitch who is the owner of the sewing shop.ca online if you have not gone to check out her impressive unique amazing fabrics bags and the patterns and the kits that she sells please go check her out i will link her below i won her giveaway she got to 2,000 followers on Instagram or 5,000 or three. I don't remember how many thousand, but she should have 20, a million because she's an, a beautiful artist and an amazing good human. So she sent me from winning this gorgeous, large project bag. So she does these square project bags, a zipper at the top. This is Frida. Frida. Mexican artist. I love Frida. Hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Um, Lots of guest appearances by the cat today. I'm sure you saw Lucy and Ringo walking around in the background. Those are the dogs. Jack will never come up here unless I bring him. So maybe next time I have a black cat. A one-eyed black cat named Jack. So he's a one-eyed Jack. <laughs> and he does not, um, he's not as playful. He is 14 years old. So he does not jump up on desks anymore. Anyway, okay, back to Kaylee. In the bag that she sent me were some gorgeous fabrics. This is a, this is called Shibori Sand Waves. This is a 28 count linen. I don't know how she dyes these, but they just blow my mind. They're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Um, this is, oh, I love this one so much, a 32 count in, called Perfectly Pastel. Look, I gotta unfold this whole thing. Look at the purples and the blues. Look at that. Oh. And then... Sky background pattern, anyone? This is a 30 count even weave. A 30 count even weave. Tiny stitching, anybody? Look at that. Like, I see a bit, something, a big something in the middle so that this fabric can be a star. So the fabric can be the star because I would need to have that showing like a pillow this size. So you see all of the fabric with something in the middle. If you have ideas or suggestions, those of you that know me or are getting to know me um, of something that I would like that could be on that. I mean... And she always, like I've ordered from her before, she always sends a very, like, an awesome thank you card. She thanked me for winning. <laughs> I mean, basically, massive congrats. Um, and then she, there, also this needle minder. And these are like her business cards on a little piece of fabric. So cool. Now I can use this stuff and put it away. Oh, wait. Yeah, hold on. Hold the train. I forgot. One more thing. Flosses. Kaylee, keep dying flosses. I will buy your flosses. These are amazing. I will, I will, like, just send me, I will, like, yeah, every month send me flosses. I'll pay Look at these variegations. Look at these. Of course she'd be amazing at flosses. Look at her fabric. Look at this. So good. So good. <clears throat> okay. Um, 
What was the last like needlework, not marketplace? What did they do just recently? Uh, August, September. I was good. I bought one thing. It was good. Mojo stitches. Um, you guys have seen, if you've been here, sorry, um, in the library by Mojo Stitches, which is done in all Cottage Garden threads. This is two from Tasmania. Seriously. Look at, look at the Tasmanian devils. Sorry. And the birds. And they came with the Cottage Garden threads. Coming soon to a needle near me. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold off much longer on that start. Um, I bought some patterns. Um, Ancient Sage Design Shazita was having a sale for her birthday. I can't remember the percent off. So I went out and got her blue poppy pattern. And I need to find seeds or plants and put those in a flower garden. When you, I, she has a picture on Etsy of the actual, it might even be in here, uh, in the pattern. Luna. Um, <clears throat> she wants to be a star today. They're gorgeous. So, Blue Poppy, which will be complimentary to the Mod Cross um, patterns that I am stitching right now as well. Um, Cozy Cabin Stitching Alley. I went out and got her Finding Warmth. Also a perfect sentiment to um, those of us suffering from depression, anxiety, or seasonal affective disorder. I thought that would be a great stitch for um, helping to support all of us in that. Um, it says turn your face toward the sun and you will find warmth on the coldest day. Um, eBay work basket Quaker sampler. Did you guys know the work basket had Quaker samplers? I did not, but now I do, and now I have one, and here it is. So good. Also, this will be a new start ASAP. I got the work basket Quaker acorn and squirrel. The acorn will be my homage to our mast year that I talked about in my last floss tube of acorns. M millions of acorns. <laughs> millions. So I needed an acorn. The squirrel is also nice and it has acorns. So I don't know. One or the other. Um, Stitchers Collective had a, I talked about that also in my last video, a collaboration to raise money for cancer, um, different cancer research and or cancer support, cancer patient support groups. You could donate to one and then you got a package of patterns. I can't remember how many they were, but they were all amazing. I printed out Miriam's um, Marumi Designs Lotus Protection Charm, <clears throat> and that will be the first one I'm stitching. The teal for me is significant to my dad's battle with esophageal cancer. So, and I think that this design is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Miriam, as always. As always. Okay, the other two are knitting, so I will talk about that in that section. Plans. Lotus Protection Charm. A acorn Pattern will probably hopefully be some of my next starts, but you never know. Like, you just got to tune in to see. <laughs> um, I would like to, I'm putting a call out, if you find me, um, I would like to join the Ink Circles Round Robin. I was late for the bus. Um, I joined Michelle Bendy Stitchy's Discord and asked, um, Julicious on Instagram. They are hosting the Ink Circles Round Robin this year. And they let me know that if I find three other people, we're welcome to join in. So if you would like to do an Ink Circles Round Robin, I think it's like you 
while you stitch a quarter of an ink circles pattern, send it to the next person and you get like three months to do it. If I understood correctly. Um, if you'd like to do that with me, let me know and we can sign up. Uh, DM me on Instagram, find me on Instagram or comment below and we'll connect. Um, the Notions app, I have it. I'm slowly working my way through the tutorial video that um, Nuri and Michelle did together so that I can start putting all of my stuff in there to feel like I have a better grasp on what I have in my life for stitching. Um, later today, I'm going to go um, trim some lilac bushes and cut down my passion flower to try to make it survive for the winter. <laughs> Um, and I made a sourdough starter, so I'm going to attempt probably tomorrow afternoon after the Packer game, after my meetup with Nithya, Sarah, and Miriam, which is the most important thing of the day, Packer game second, and then sourdough bread. That's my plans for tomorrow. Totally not stitchy related, but now you know. Um, let's talk about Jacob. I know you guys have seen it. I, who hasn't? I, I couldn't look away. I kept going back. And I kept telling myself no. But sucked in I was. Sucked in I was. So here it is. If you haven't seen it, now you have. And I'm sorry that I had to be the one to break it to you. And here is my <laughs> rudimentary drawing on how I can make this pattern possibly. I am a three-time Jacob Sale failure. Not a failure. I've done stitching on three of his sales. I have not even come close to even being completed, probably with more than a page or two on any of them. Because <laughs> I fall in love with them, I love my floss choices, and then they're just so big. Well, no, in my defense, I did restart the one, the one from a couple years. No, last year's I restarted twice. Three times. Anyways, <clears throat> we'd be here forever if I told you that saga. Um, I thought, I love, I love the animals. I love this. I love the whole thing, but I especially love the animals. So what if... I just did the animals. My dilemma is then connecting the border above the birds and bringing up that pattern to follow, which I don't think that would be too hard. I think the hardest part for me would be connecting the border, but I could figure it out. And then just doing the, sec the bottom section. What do you guys think? I'm already thinking about flosses. I can't stop. <sighs> Darn it. Darn you, Jacob. Darn you for your amazing patterns. Oh, but I love it. So thoughts, opinions, help. If you want to help me, <laughs> I'm not, I have no pride. I will ask you for help. Um, That is it for cross stitch. Uh, we just finished the suits uh the entire series so then we were like now what <laughs> now what um so last night we started watching oh boy what was it called i had it written down because nithia suggested it uh oh my gosh where is the cat the cat did it the cat moved my cheese. The cat moved my cheese. Um, humankind, All Humankind. It is a series that explores what would have happened in the United States if we had not won the space race and landed on the moon first. Very interesting so far. It We only watched one episode until we 
both fell asleep. Because <laughs> that's fun Friday night in your late 40s and early 50s. <laughs> All right, friends, that's it for cross stitch. I am going to talk a little bit about crocheting and show you some uh, invest yarn investment stuff. So if you were only here for the cross stitch, I love you. As I used to tell my kids when they left the door in the morning, be safe, be kind. I love you. And here we go. Oh, um, oh, Jingle Ball. Oh my gosh, don't go anywhere, Cross Stitch friends. Jingle Ball. If you're going to the Jingle Ball, I'm going to the Jingle Ball. Going to the Jingle Ball. Um, probably <clears throat> Friday night, um, Saturday for a little bit in the morning, and then I have a another event to go to, and then Sunday I'm doing the bookmark class. I haven't gotten the pattern yet, so has anybody gotten the pattern? I keep, like, looking in my spam email thinking I might have missed it. I don't know. If you have gotten the pattern, let me know so that I can figure out how to get the pattern. Anyways, I'm excited about that because I want to make more bookmarks and then I'll get actual instruction. And I'm excited to go into, like, the chat rooms and talk to people about stitching. Okay, crochet, headbands. Let's see how bad this is going to look. Ooh. I, it's cold, it's Wisconsin. My cousin was like, the other day, she's like, oh, I just need a, a warm headband that covers my ears. I'm like, I got you, girl. I got you. Super bulky yarn and a L. Did I use an L? L size crochet hook. Voila. Um, so I made two of those. One's a little thinner, so I'll probably give her the thicker one because she wanted to make sure her ears were covered. Um, seriously, I looked at a pattern and then I kind of went rogue. Um, this one, the same thing. I did a half, half crochet slip stitch all the way around. So, and actually, if she wants this one, I'll just let her choose whichever one she wants. Love the screen. Love the screen. Um, two books that I got knitting. The new, oh my gosh, Andrea Wrangel. There, this is the second one she's done. Knitivations, Stitch Dictionary. Th this book contains 150 different motifs, pattern, motif patterns for knitting. Or you could use them for crochet. Heck, you guys. How do I do this without giving one away? You could cross stitch these motifs. If you need a cross stitch motif, like let's say, I'm um, trying to find one that will be a good example. Oh, let's say a cow. Moo. Oh, that's probably showing the pattern. But you get the idea, right? Because it's blocks, a graph for you to follow. So you could stitch these. Look, you could stitch this little penguin. Like, I'm thinking on my temperature chart that I need to fill in little motifs that are significant to that month, like something we did or something that was meaningful to me, like an acorn. Because I have the first book she put out that also has a hundred and whatever. Look, there's a hummingbird. Of course I'm going to use that. Probably in knit crochet or cross stitch. So even if you're a, sti a cross stitcher, fantastic to have all these little charts for all of these motifs. Just saying. And then, thank you grocery girls. If you are a knitter, um, a few of the knitting podcasts or YouTube channels that I really enjoy um, number one, Chevy Rell. Go watch her just once and you will binge watch, binge watch her from the beginning. Fun, knowledgeable, hilarious, um, personable. Two, um, we share needles. Maddie and Christina. Oh my gosh, am I getting their names right? We Share Needles. Uh, unapologetically liberal, funny, two best friends who knit and crochet a little bit. Um, 
super enjoyable also to watch. And then, of course, The Grocery Girls. Canadian sisters, um, three hour. They do lives, like, on a Thursday morning every other week. And that you could obviously go back and watch them later. But they're fantastic. Very enabling. If you don't want to be enabled, probably don't watch them. But they... And then, um... One of the sisters also has her own um, yarn line, uh, Frankie Gray Fibers, and dyes beautiful yarn, her and her daughter. Okay, so anyways, they showed this book, Observations, Knits and Essays from the Forest. Knits and Essays from the Forest. Like, that didn't call my name. So it's not just, there's patterns in here, there's knitting, there's patterns, but there's also stories essays and I have not read it yet but I will so I can't tell you much about it I did bookmark a couple of the patterns there's um six or seven patterns in here but I'm like a pattern book that also that I can read yeah the dusk cardigan I will make that long sleeved it will take me several years to complete it is DK though, so it will go faster than I think, probably, if I give myself enough knitting time. And then the badger sweater. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. I will just have to do something about the neckline, but I don't like things close to my neck. It's a sensory thing. So you'll never see me in a turtleneck, even in Wisconsin. So observations. Lan, 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 Lana, everybody says this different, Lane, Lane Publishing, Lana, Lana, something like that, but the author, oh, I'm going to murder this though, Lada H. Lothgren, Lada H. Lothgren, Lothgren, Swedish, this is from Sweden, um, yeah, a small village in southeast of Sweden nestled among forests and lakes. Spends her days writing, knitting, designing knitwear, and hand dyeing yarn. How do we quit our jobs and just do that? How do we quit our jobs? Because I love trying to dye my own fabrics lately. I got more root dye the other day. I had a coupon at Michael's. How do we do that, guys? Well, for now, on we go. Um, okay, sourdough bread, I told you about that. I'm so excited. I have. I have horrible, horrible, severe eczema. And I think that the culprit might be cobalt and nickel, so I can't have soy. And if you have ever tried to find bread that doesn't contain soy, it is a needle in a haystack. Like a local bakery, really, which we don't have any um, convenient in our area. So I decided... I'll make my own bread. It's just my husband and I the majority of the time at home since our kids are gone. Well, not gone. They're nearby. Just not living here full time. Um, I'll make my own bread once a couple every other week. So wish me luck. I've not I've never made bread. 48 years. Never made bread. So here we go. Well, maybe I had once, but like, oh, like friendship bread or zucchini bread, but not like bread, like proof the bread, fold the bread, bake the bread. Um, I hope you all stay well. The world is very, very heavy. If you need to have a talk or a conversation, um, reach out to someone as always, I always say this, reach out to me. Um, the seasons they are changing, that is hard on people. Take your vitamin D. Talk about mental health. It's real. Um, be safe. Be kind. I love you. I'll see you again soon. Peace.